We're at the entrance to Oakland Cemetery, a stop on the Battle of Atlanta tour. This entrance is located at the intersection of Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard and Oakland Avenue. The cemetery, originally called City Cemetery, was established in 1850. During and immediately after the Civil War, additional grounds were purchased and the city uh, cemetery was extended to include Confederate war dead. There are approximately 7,000 Confederate war dead buried here. So the cemetery has importance as a site of remembrance. We're at the Confederate line in Oakland Cemetery in the cemetery's Confederate section. And beneath this six foot tall statue are approximately 3,000 Confederate unknown dead. The statue itself was commissioned by the Atlanta Ladies Memorial Association and sculpted by Thomas Brady, a local marble worker and owner who did this statue as a replica at the instructions of the Ladies Memorial Association of the Lion of Lucerne in Switzerland. The original statue, much larger, is to the memory of the Swiss guards who failed in their efforts to guard the royal family in France during the time of the revolution. The Lion of Atlanta likewise memorializes a lost cause, the Confederacy. Taking a closer look at some features of the sculpture, one of which is the lance that's penetrated the lion's torso, mortally wounding it. The lion in its death throes is clutching the Confederate battle flag. The original statue in Lucerne, Switzerland, after which this lion is modeled, has the lion clutching the fleur de lis, the symbol of the French royal family. This statue was sculpted from marble quarried in Tate, Georgia, in Pickens County. Marble from that same quarry was used 25 years later to sculpt the statue of Abraham Lincoln that's in the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. So we have here a statue that honors the memory of 3,000 Confederate unknowns sculpted from the same material used to carve a statue of Abraham Lincoln, perhaps the best known casualty of the American Civil War. We're at the Confederate obelisk in the center of Oakland Cemetery's Confederate section. This 65-foot shaft, which was dedicated on Confederate Memorial Day, 1874, became the focal point for those Memorial Day celebrations. It was on this spot that Lost Cause speeches were given prior to decoration of the Confederate graves, 7,000 of them, including 3,000 unknown, here in Oakland Cemetery. We're in Oakland Cemetery, near the historic marker of where Hood watched the Battle of Atlanta, and behind the marker is the two-story Oakland Cemetery Visitor Center. On the afternoon of July 22nd, 1864, Hood and his staff watched at least part of the Battle of Atlanta from a vantage point on the second story of a house at approximately where that historic marker is located. Hood witnessed an initial success and then a throwback of Confederate troops that assaulted the Federal line at the Troop Hurt House in Inman Park. 